This is the cutest holiday candy cane secret I've ever seen. And then I top it off with a little peppermint right in the middle of all the candy canes like that. Now this right here is some uh, white melted chocolate. See that? And watch what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna start to drizzle it right over this middle peppermint. See that? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start to go in a little circle, going outwards. And basically what I'm doing here is I'm gonna get the whole thing mostly covered. It does not have to be perfect yet, because I'll show you why. But watch, I'm just gonna get this all the way. There we go. So pretty the way it comes out, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's really pretty. It smells really good too. I don't want to waste any, so here we go. Perfect. Just like that. We're gonna get all that chocolate onto there. Okay. Okay. See that? Yeah. And now I'm gonna take a little spreader. And without moving the candy canes, because that design is going to be very important at the end when I flip this, I'm just going to spread all the chocolate out a little bit. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do it nice and evenly here. Out. See that? Nice and evenly all along the edges. Just kind of want to keep it somewhat even. does not have to be perfect. A lot of times people get really hung up on, oh, mine's, mine's not quite even. The, the, the chocolate's not even. The candy canes aren't even. Don't worry about it because I'll show you when this thing comes out in a moment here. We're going to flip the whole thing and you'll see the underside and that's really where it starts to get beautiful, okay? Okay. So look at this. I'm just going to push it to the edges here. See that? Yes. Push that chocolate all the way to the edges. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just like that. Being very gentle as I do so, even though it doesn't have to be perfect, you do want to take care and not, you know, you don't want to go crazy. You do want to keep the formation of the candy canes pretty even here, okay? This is such a great holiday treat. Y'all let us know where you're watching from in the comments. Yeah, let us know where you're watching from. Let us know if it's cold where you are, because I know it's cold in so many parts of the country right now. This is almost done, and it's okay if the borders are not totally covered in chocolate. That's the least important part of the whole thing that we're not going to worry about, right? Right, just that center part. Yep. Oh, okay, so you can grab. Yeah, you can grab. You do want to kind of get the uh, the edges of the candy cane covered. Okay. That part. Yeah, just fill in those yep. gaps. Fill in those gaps right there. See that? Now you'll see right here I have a little broken uh, candy cane. No problem at all. You won't even notice that once this chocolate hardens. Not a big deal, these candy canes. I always say like, if you can arrange candy canes or handle candy canes without breaking them, you get a prize because it's so hard to do. You so don't really even- Delicate hands. Yeah, don't even stress that, okay? Okay. There we go. It's good to know. Okay, let's get this spread out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Wow. Here we are, beautiful. Kinda looks like a giant candy cane snowflake. Mm-hmm, yep. So pretty. You see how it's starting to get kind of even along these edges? Mm -hmm. so we're almost done. I'm just gonna spread it out a little bit more across the whole thing. Rolling. All right, so now that it's all spread out, we're gonna take this and place it in the freezer. The most important part of this, when it comes out of here, it'll be all hard. I'm gonna flip it over, remove the wax paper, and I'll show you the final step because it gets really colorful and interesting. Right now, it looks like a holiday flower almost with these edges, right? Yes. So here it goes, and uh, I'm gonna leave this in here for a few hours. All right. All right, it's done, check it out. It's nice and hard now, hear that? Yeah. So now comes the most important part of the whole thing. I'm gonna pick the whole thing up, okay? okay. I'm gonna turn it over. Oh. See this? Yes. Because now this side's perfectly flat, right? right? The other side wasn't perfectly flat because I had, you know, the chocolate was being poured onto it, but now this, is perfectly flat. Oh, and it just comes right up. Mm-hmm, and the wax paper will let it come right up, okay. So now we have that, which is perfectly flat, okay? okay. And very beautiful, right? Yes. Now watch what I'm gonna do here, okay? What are those? These are some Hershey's Kisses, okay? okay? And what I'm gonna do with these, I'm gonna take a lighter, just hold a lighter to it for just a moment, okay? And then you set it down, oh. and take a look. See how the chocolate kind of melts out around yes. it? Yes. It just takes a moment for it to heat up. See that? There's one. Let's do one right here. Cool. Such a good idea. See that? Yeah, it's really coming together. Yeah. Just one, one thousand, two, one thousand. That's all you need. And that goes right there. Okay. Last one. Okay. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Okay. Okay. okay so at this point, I'm going to take this giant Hershey's kiss, place it right in the middle of this. Okay. 
And now I have the Grinch right here. See this? Mm -hmm. Grinch is gonna sit right next to him there. All right, as our last step, I'm gonna take this Santa stencil and set it right there, okay? Now watch what happens with this. Okay, I'm gonna heat up this uh, Hershey's Kiss right here quite a bit, get it pretty hot. Cause what I'm actually gonna do is really cool, okay, watch. Mm. See that? Yeah. You're gonna use this to kind of trace the stencil a little bit, okay? Yeah. See that? And you're almost using this chocolate as a little paintbrush, if you will. And you just hold the stencil down pretty tightly so yep. that... Yeah, let me get a little bit more heat on this. Okay. The chocolate will burn a little bit, but that's okay because we're not doing this for taste. We're really doing this for the design here, okay? The aesthetic. Yep, the aesthetic. Exactly. Spread it over to there. Spread it around. And let's see. You ready? I'm ready. Let's see if it worked. Sometimes these stencils, you never know with the stencils, right? You don't you know. You never know, but let's give it a try, okay? Give it a three, two, one. I think that's probably enough. Let's lift off. And here we go, ready? Yes. I'm gonna lift this right up. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see his little boots. Oh my gosh. There we go. You have a little chocolate Santa on top of the on top of this whole thing. So check it out. Right now, we have a candy cane flower with white cold chocolate poured in the middle, a Hershey's Kiss, the Grinch. We have four little Hershey's Kiss around the edge and we have a Santa stencil in the middle. There you guys go. Let me know in the comments if you think this is cool, if you think there's any steps that were unnecessary, if you think some parts of it look good, some parts of it don't look good. Uh, I just thought this was a fun little holiday crafting uh, recipe secret. It's, it's edible tray so you can carry it around the party, show it to people they can break off pieces and eat it. But it's really something that gets the conversation going. Um, happy holidays, everybody. Let me know in the comments, share it with your friends, and hope you're doing well. That came out pretty good.